Well hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. In this video I would like to do an unboxing and review and swatching <laughs> of the Arteza 36 set of the Gray Tones. I in previous videos swatched out the 60 set of the Everblends and in another video I swatched out the 36 set of the Skin Tones. So I will link both of those videos videos down below in case you have not seen them. I have not opened these up yet so let's take a look together and see what all these grays look like. I know many of you use a lot of grays for your shading and whatnot so let's take a look. Okay, like the skin tone set, this 36 set comes in this plastic case in three trays. Uh, the 36 sets don't come in the nice black um, case that the uh, 60 set and the 120 set comes in, which is unfortunate, but I can understand why they don't. So let's open this up and we will take the three trays out. Okay, I did create a swatch chart and I just looked on the back because on the back of the case lists all the colors and their code and their color name on the back here. So I wrote out my color chart according to this and I hope they're in this order. <laughs> all right, so let's see which tray is first. I start out with dolphin gray and let me see. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. I'm looking at the words upside down here. Um, okay, we start out with this tray. Now these markers are triangular in shape, which I really do like. When I swatched out the other sets, my hand didn't get tired at all. I don't typically have that problem anyhow, like I know some of you do. Um, and that's why you color with markers a lot versus colored pencils. Um, and these are very comfortable in the hand. I really like them even better than round ones. Or some of the other budget friendly markers are more square in shape. And I do find that these are much easier to color with than the square ones especially. So. They are triangular, like I said. They do have a fine tip. Let me zoom you in just a tad. They do have a fine tip and a chisel point. If you, you know, say you have the marker upside down and you can't see that, you can tell which is the chisel, which is the fine point because the chisel tip does not have a color band on it, whereas the fine point does. And I really like it when markers do that. Very easy to see what end is what. Okay, so let's swatch these out and take a look at all of the colors. Now, if you look at my color chart, you're gonna notice that some of these colors have two asterisks some of them have one asterisk and two asterisks. What I did, I was kind of curious when I went through all of these gray colors, what colors are duplicated in either the 60 set of the Arteza markers. They also have a much larger 120 set. So yeah, I was kind of curious to see what colors in this set were duplicated in the other set. The colors that I have a single asterisk on are duplicated in the 60 set. The one that has double asterisks on is they are duplicated in the 120 set. If you see both of these, you know that they are in both the 60 and the 120 set. Now, if you look at this first column, you can see that just about every single color is in the 120 set. I think there's only 
one there's two of them that are in the 60 set over here there are a few that are in the 120 set but only one that is in the 60 set so if you have the 60 set this would be a great addition to that 60 set of markers if you like using your gray tones if you have the 120 set you can see a lot of them are duplicated but there are a number of new grays in here too so you may want to get this uh, gray tone set in addition to the 120 set just so you had all of them especially like I said if you are the colorist that likes to use a lot of the grays for your shading and things like that all right with all of that being said let's get on to swatching these so this first one let me zoom you in just a tad more this first one is called dolphin gray cute name that is definitely a dolphin gray <laughs> okay then we have white diamond that's a pretty light cool gray and we have clear water you would think this would be a very light gray oh yes definitely I should show you you know the chisel tips on here let's get it on camera Lisa are very very nice I really like these for I am not a chisel tip person um, I am more a fine tip or a brush tip mar marker person um, I do want to start working with the chisel tip a little bit more because as we know the chisel tip works so much better when you're doing a large area and it's kind of cumbersome to keep switching back and forth between the chisel tip and the fine tip when you get into some of the finer details in a picture with this chisel tip there is a really nice point to these uh to this particular tip so you can get into your finer details really nicely with these markers so I do want to play around with that and try to get used to a little bit better uh, coloring with the chisel tips the fine tip on these markers is also very nice it's a, it looks a little bit longer than other fine tips that I have seen on some of the other budget friendly markers and I do like that like I said I have not colored with these yet so now that I have reviewed the third set of markers that Arteza so kindly sent me I will be coloring a picture with the three sets I'm not sure what picture yet I'll have to decide that later <laughs> so that is the markers themselves and I should have pointed that out originally all right let's go on to glacier blue very nice now again these are all duplicates that's in the 120 set glacier blue happens to be in the 60 and the 120 set then we have powder blue you'll notice you hear that they click shut really nice you know that your markers are not going to be drying out but yet they're not hard to get off either which to me is perfect oh that's a really pretty blue I like that then we have cloudy gray all right this sorry about that I had a phone call come in from my grandson <laughs> all right here we go with cloudy gray then we have storm gray don't you love these names nice dark gray smoke gray I always got to double check the name just in case I have the wrong marker now one thing um, that I 
have pointed out in the other videos, uh, I believe the 60 count uh, of the Arteza markers, I do wish kind of that they would switch around the name of the marker and the alphanumeric code. Um, the name of the color is a little bit small to me. Um, it depends, I guess, if you go by the code or if you go by the color name. If you go by the code, this is just fine. If you go by the color name, however, it is kind of small to read, at least to me. Could be my eyesight, but... <laughs> All right, then we have deep blue gray. Nice. Charcoal gray. Very dark. Almost on the verge of black, but not quite. Okay, then we have stone blue. Oh, that is a pretty color. Oh, I like that. It almost looks like a real deep teal. And so, ocean blue. No, they're really pretty color. So all these grays, you know, some of them can be used, you know, for other pictures too, you know, with, with these pretty blues. They're not all gray, gray colors, you know what I mean? All right, let's go into tray number two. And we have pearl. I'm assuming this is going to be a light gray. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. More on the warm side. So here we have a lot of our cool grays. Now I'm assuming we're kind of getting into our warm grays. Here is blush gray. Almost on a tannish side. So stone gray. Yes, very nice warm tone grays. Fossil gray. Concrete gray. Moody gray. <laughs> Another cute name. Now you notice Moody Gray is not in either the 60 or the 120 set. So it is a unique color. And Moody Gray is definitely on the greenish side. Okay, let's go up to the other side. We are halfway through. Now we have Mink. Well, that's different too, isn't it? Okay, then we have dark chocolate brown. Now this particular color is in the 60 and the 120 set. Very, very deep brown. Then we have brown gray. Definitely. Now, if you were just coloring a picture and wanted to blend colors, these would blend together very nice. Turtle green. Very dark, dark olive green. Then we have lava gray. Very, very dark gray. And last in this tray is carbon black. So I'm assuming this is going to be a little bit lighter than your typical black. No, definitely not. That is a total black color. All right. Now, the next ones are all unique grays. One, two, three, four. Next five are all unique. It's not in the 60 set or the 120 set. Actually, I should say the six because carbon black is not in either one of the other sets either. So let's go to the last tray. Let me get these out of the way. Sorry for my arm in the way. 
Okay, so we have rain gray. Okay, looks like we're back to some cooler shades of gray. Weathered gray. These are maybe like your tonal grays if you uh, have ever colored with Copics. This one is called Snow. Sea Salt Gray, another cute name. Definitely a couple of warm grays in there. Mushroom Gray, that's cute too. Okay, so those were all unique. Sage Green is in the 120 set. Gosh, I hope I didn't have you guys off camera. I apologize if I did. So there is Sage Green. Now we have Silt Green. That's nice. Kind of a bluish, greenish gray. And so we have classic gray. Now these two again are unique colors. Camel green is in the 120 set. Let me push you up here a little bit. All right, just three more to go. We have Pewter Gray, which is a unique color, not in either of the other sets. Then we have Shadow Gray, which is another unique color. And last but not least is Army Gray, which is in the 120 set, but not in the 60. Very deep, deep greenish gray color. Okay, so that is the entire set of the 36 gray tones. Okay, and, uh, now that I got interrupted by that phone call, I can't zoom back out. So we will just kind of scoot it around a little bit and look at all of these. We have some very nice light grays in here. We have the blues. Oh, I got the blues. Sorry. Okay, here we have some more nice light grays, which are really nice for your shading. Then your real deeper type of grays, your warm and your cooler grays. I do love the stone blue. <laughs> that is so pretty, and the ocean blue. So, yeah, like I said, the, these, the majority in the first column, are in the 120 set. Um, but if you, maybe you do use grays a lot and you're going to run out of that color, kind of nice to have an extra one. Because they do have uh, replacement markers that you can buy, but you have to buy them in sets of four. Um, might not be a bad thing. Again, if you use that particular color a lot, you would have four of those markers. Now, because there are replaceable nibs, you can get replacement nibs for these markers. I heard rumor, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I heard rumor that they are going to be coming out with replacement inks. Wouldn't that be awesome? And the other rumor that I heard, which would be awesome if this is true, again, I don't know for sure. I heard they were possibly coming out with brush tip markers. Oh my gosh, that would be so awesome. Um, as we all know, though, it takes forever to get things into production for these companies. So probably would be, if they are, it, I'm sure it would be a ways down the road yet before we would see either one of those products so yeah i hope uh, you liked seeing the swatching of these gray tone sets the 36 set of the arteza everblend markers 
I will be leaving links down below to this gray tone set. The links will be for the United States and for the UK. I will also be leaving a generic Arteza uh, link to both the United States and the UK Arteza websites. Um, you can order through those links. The generic Arteza link, of course, will just link you to their homepage and you can order any Arteza product that you want. I will be giving you also in the description a discount code. Whatever you order through the links that I'm going to have down below, you will receive 10% off anything that you order via those links. Now, if you order from Amazon, you will not be able to use that 10% discount. It is only for the Arteza websites. Again, via the links that I'm going to be providing. I am an Arteza affiliate, so if you do order anything through those links, I will receive a little bit of a kickback. Um, that'll go back directly into this channel. So I thank you in advance if you do order anything through that website or through those links, I should say. And again, there is a code down below that will give you 10% off your order. So thank you for joining me on this or watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these great tone Everblend markers. If you did enjoy this, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.